A very good morning to everyone. In the last session, we have discussed about the uh, introduction to soft computing. So, in that, we have seen about uh, uh, soft computing definition and then the difference between the soft computing as well as the hard computing. So, just we can have a quick recap about the uh, soft computing definition. So, this soft computing is that uh, uh, here uh, how far uh, they will be uh, solving a particular problem is. They used to learn by examples and then they used to uh, uh, think by themselves of how to solve the uh, particular problem by based upon the knowledge which they have acquired. So this is the way that how the soft computing will be solving the problem when compared with the, the hard computing. So now uh, we are going to see about the uh, how the uh, how the particular word of uh, cat is recognized. Uh, by a uh, by a machine uh, through the soft computing and then the artificial intelligence so when we uh, when when we denote a word with the cat uh, how far the neural networks will be functioning uh, functioning when we uh, uh, to recognize the word as cat in the sense means so this uh, word cat the neural characters will be recognized uh, and then this will be formed as a, a network uh, that is your artificial neural network uh, like that uh, the structure is formed and then it will be characterized to form as uh, this is a cat and then and then as cut uh, so that they will be identifying that uh, uh, whether this is an animal or uh, anything uh, that is if it is of animal how they are uh, identifying in the sense means they have a uh, and knowledge based upon that uh, uh, based upon that they will be identifying that a cat is an animal or not so if uh, the knowledge which they have acquired they have learned about that particular word uh, of cat in the sense means which comes under the category of animal then they will be matching that a cat is a kind of animal and then uh, they can uh, they can find that a particular uh, particular word is a, a cat so this is about the uh, working of uh, the soft computing uh, to compute any problem uh, which uh, which they will be facing so the next thing is that uh, we are going to see about the conventional AI uh, to the computational intelligence so in the conventional artificial intelligence uh, they focus on attempt to mimic the human intelligence behavior by expressing in the uh, language forms or uh, symbolic rules so they are just used to uh, acquire the uh, the human intelligence behavior so that's a, a main thing they are uh, uh, focusing it so and they are trying to imitate that same uh, uh, the human intelligence uh, what they have acquired and then they are trying to express it in the form of language forms or uh, 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 symbolic forms so this is uh, happens in the conventional AI and then they manipulate the uh, uh, symbols based on the assumptions here the uh, keyword here is that the assumptions in the assumptions is the main one so how they are uh, making it is they just uh, uh, they just acquire the behavior which is stored in the uh, symbolically structured knowledge basis so from that they are uh, manipulating the symbols based on the assumptions uh, so this is popularly known as physical symbol system hypothesis and then we have a, a definition which is coined by R. McLeod. According to him, the A is the activity. A is the activity of providing such machines as computers with the ability to display behaviors that would be regarded as intelligent if it were observed in humans. So that is uh, whatever uh, the uh, behaviors which has been observed and then which is stored as as intelligence which is which is stored as an intelligence and that is those intelligence it will be observed in the uh, human so that is uh, the part of the AI uh, they are providing this kind of intelligence to the machines and then the next uh, definition which is coined by uh, Russell and uh, P. Norwig so it is a study of agents that exist in an environment perceive and act so it, it's like a, a, a it's like a, a study about the particular uh, uh, agent so whichever exists in an environment 
and how they perform and how they act so uh, a study about this entire thing is said to be a uh, uh, ai so we can get a clear idea about the conventional ai that it's mainly main focus over the human intelligent behavior and then they are trying to express in the form of a language form and then the next uh, thing is that they are trying to manipulate the symbols based upon the assumptions which they stored in the uh, structured knowledge bases and then the two definitions uh, which is coined by the uh, scientist McLeod and then uh, Norvig we have seen and then here uh, from conventional AI to the computational intelligence how they are upgrading in the sense means so they have an uh, intelligent system so the how far they are recognizing the particular uh, problem to provide a solution is uh, so here when they are sensing any perceptions that is a sensor sensing devices and the natural language process and then mechanical devices so this will be uh, the, uh, the from this uh, when the perception is made as an input when they are recognizing any uh, any any problem so how far they are uh, how far they are going to process and uh, uh, provide a solution is so from this uh, from this system uh, they will be from natural language processor the input will be uh, fed to the fed to the the intermediate level of the task generator and then the knowledge handler and then the uh, data handler so from that uh, they will be analyzing that whether that uh, a given input which we have already have any idea in a knowledge based or not they will be just going through that if they have a, a experience about that a particular uh, a input which they have already solved they used to gain the knowledge from the knowledge base so from the knowledge base they try to make it that uh, whether uh, whether it will be learned through the machine learning or uh, it is a, a reasoning part or how far uh, we are going to plan so all these kind of actions will be uh, taken place from the knowledge base and then the required action will be passed through the knowledge handler and then to the uh, natural language processor so from there uh, through the devices mechanical devices the required output you will be uh, getting so this is a part of uh, uh, conventional uh, that is conventional ai to uh, computer computational intelligence so this is a uh, computation intelligent systems uh, which we have uh, uh, designed and then this is a diagrammatic representation of how far uh, the uh, intelligent system is working and then this is about the uh, uh, schematic uh, uh, diagram of about the neural networks uh, so you all know that uh, the human brain consists of uh, uh, millions of uh, uh, neurons uh, so once if uh, once if any feel which we feel for example uh, when we have uh, uh, a cup of water hot water which need to be uh, sensed by uh, touching by our uh, hand then uh, then the we can we can able to feel the the hotness of the water uh, when we touch at the sense uh, it will be the neuron will be getting uh, uh, getting a signal that it is a hot and then it will be the action of the signal will be uh, forwarded to the millions of neurons uh, which is located in our brain so that we will be uh, immediately taking our hand from that hot water so this is what uh, the happens in the artificial neural networks uh, so once the uh, signal is particularly forwarded to the uh, particular uh, uh, neuron the group of neurons will be getting tri getting triggered and then we will be getting a signal uh, to attain the uh, uh, threshold value so that will be the expected uh, expected output in the artificial neural network and then this is a, uh, a diagram about the neural networks and then uh, and the neural networks uh, uh, here will be uh, we will be focusing about how the neural networks will be uh, framed and then what's the work what's the working principle of the uh, neural networks it is a highly interconnected network of large number of processing elements uh, probably we will be calling that as a calling that as a neurons it is a architecture motivated brain motivated by brain so it is similar like a brain so where the brain consists of uh, uh, millions of neurons which are interconnected so in the neural networks also uh, he, it is interconnected by a large number of neurons uh, uh, like a brain and then it is massively uh, it, uh, it is a parallel and it exhibits a parallel distributed processing and then it performs a complex task 
and intrinsically a fault tolerance capability it will be providing if any particular neuron is getting a failed in the sense means its work will be uh, taken over by the another neuron so that is the fault tolerant capability and then it learned by examples of supervised learning so it will be learning by themselves through the examples that is a labeled input supervised learning is we will be having a target input and then the target output and then unsupervised learning is here the network tries to learn by itself 